Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh my dear students uh, welcome again this is our fourth lecture and it is the second lecture about John Milton Paradise Lost we are going to uh, continue what we have already started in the previous lecture about uh, Milton and uh, we uh, last time we explained something about his life something about his education something about his attitude towards marriage and women today inshallah we are going to have more about Milton and about his uh, great uh, poem which is uh, Paradise Lost okay Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim let's start as you can see this is the fourth lecture in number of the lectures that we have had already till now but it is the second lecture about Milton okay and as I mentioned in the previous uh, lectures that we are uh, going to have four lectures about uh, Paradise Lost about Milton and again I am emphasizing the importance of that part about Milton, about these four lectures, uh, because definitely uh, some questions, as I said, from 10 to 15 questions will be in the final exam about this. So please, again, study hard this poem. Okay, now uh, we have here uh, to, uh, we need to start here about the Paradise Lost, we need to know something about the plot overview. So we need to know uh, the plot of the poem uh, Paradise Lost and definitely inshallah later in the coming uh, lectures inshallah we are going to have some extracts, some quotations from the poem itself and definitely we are going to explain it. So in plot overview Milton's speaker begins Paradise Lost by stating that his subject, the subject, the main subject of the poem of Paradise Lost will be Adam and Eve's disobedience and fall from grace. Of course, all of us know the story, the story of Adam and Eve. Uh, and the fall from paradise to elf and of course we know how it happened uh, the satan or the devil uh, his uh, the rule of the devil and doing this and uh, 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 making them fall from a paradise so this is the story the whole story uh, in, in that poem uh, well known to all of us so from the very beginning uh, Milton's speaker uh, begins Paradise Lost by stating that his subject, the main subject of the poem, will be Adam and Eve's disobedience and fall from grace. He invokes a heavenly muse and asks for help in relating his ambitious story and God's plan for humankind. The action the action of uh, the poem begins with Satan, and of course, you know the word Satan, uh, devil, and his fellow rebel angels. Rebel angels, those who uh, uh, were rebelling against God. So, rebel, his fellow, uh, his companions, fellow rebel like angels who are found chained. These evil, uh, these uh, rebel angels. Uh, the fellow of the Satan, they were found at that time chained to a lake of fire and hell. They quickly free themselves and fly to land. So the fellow of the Satan, they uh, freed themselves quickly and they fly, uh, they could uh, uh, fly to land. Where they discovered minerals and construct bandimanium uh, which will be their meeting place. So the Bandimanium was the place in which they are going to meet. Inside Bandimanium, the rebel angels, who are now devils, these angels, of course, were before when they were in paradise, they were 
uh, angels, but once they uh, were they were rebels against uh, God, they of course uh, become devils. Debate whether they debated together, they uh, spoke to each other, whether they should begin another war with God. Okay, so this is their aim to start a new war with God. Okay. Bezalel suggested that this is one of the uh, devils suggested that they attempt to corrupt God's beloved new creation and of course uh, it's meant here by God's beloved new creation of course uh, uh, we mean here Adam and Eve humankind Satan agrees and volunteers to go himself. He volunteers to go himself to corrupt uh, the uh, new creation of God, the humankind, uh, uh, I mean of course Adam and Eve. As he prepares to leave hell, he is met at the gates by his children. Uh, these children of the devil were sin and death. So, sin and death, they are here personified by uh, Milton as the children of uh, devil. So, and they were the children and they were called sin and death. Who follow him? They follow the Satan, the devil, and build a bridge between hell and earth. They build a bridge between hell and earth to help him to uh, escape. In heaven, God orders the angels together for a council of their own. He tells them of Satan's intentions. Of course, God uh, used the intentions of, he knew the intentions of Satan, and he told the angels about this. And the son volunteers himself to make the sacrifice for humankind. Of course, we do not believe uh, definitely as Muslims in what's written here about the son of the God and all these. This is, of course, some beliefs in Christianity. We as Muslim, of course, do not believe in this. Uh, all what we believe in is that Allah is one uh, la ilaha illallah and he has no uh, sons at all but this is the belief of the Christianity that God has son and so on of course you know this idea of course we have nothing to do with this but we are just explaining and displaying the poem because this is the poem of Milton uh, uh, but we are just trying to know something uh, about it but definitely we have nothing to do with what they believe in lakum dinukum waladin of course he tells them of satan's intentions and the son volunteers himself to make the sacrifice for humankind meanwhile satan travels through night and caves and finds earth he disguises himself as a cherub a cherub is like an angel and very beautiful angel to get past the archangel Uriel who stands guard at the sun he tells Uriel that he wishes to see and praise God's glorious creation and Uriel uh, ascends Satan then lands on earth and takes a moment to reflect Seeing the splendor of paradise brings him pain rather than pleasure. Of course, he uh, of course uh, was greatly affected when he see uh, when he saw that the splendor of paradise and how he was dismissed out of paradise. Okay, he reaffirms again. He affirms his decision to make evil his good and continue to commit crimes against God. 
Satan leaps over Paradise Wall. He leaps over, jumps over Paradise Wall, takes the form of Cormorant, that's a large bird, and perches himself atop the tree of life. Looking down at Satan from his post, Yarel notices the volatile emotions reflected in the face of this so-called cherub and warns the other angels. He could discover that it was not a cherub. And he warns the other angels that an imposter is in their midst. The other angels agree to search the garden for intruders. They felt that there was an intruder in paradise, so they started to look for where is this intruder hiding. Meanwhile, now we are narrating the story, the plot of Paradise Lost. Meanwhile, Adam and Eve tend the garden carefully, obeying God's supreme order not to eat from the tree of knowledge. So Adam and Eve, both of them, they uh, were ordered not to eat, not to come close, and not to eat from which tree? The tree of knowledge. After a long day of work, they returned to their power and rest. There, Satan takes the form of a tot and whispers into Eve's ear. So, comes close to the ear of Eve, whispering to it. Gabriel, the angel said to guard paradise, find Satan there, and orders him to leave. Satan prepares to battle Gabriel, but God makes a sign appear in the sky. And what was that sign that appeared in the sky? It was the golden scales of justice. And Satan scurries away when he saw, when Satan saw the golden scales of justice, he escaped greatly. Okay. Eve awakes and tells Adam about a dream she had in which an angel tempted her to eat from the forbidden tree. Of course, uh, you know the story that God forbids them to eat from the tree of knowledge. So she dreamt that, as, a, as you can see, an angel came and tempted had to tempt her to eat from the forbidden tree. Worried about his creation, God sends Raphael down to earth to teach Adam and Eve the dangers they face with Satan. So God tried to guide and to instruct, to give some instructions by Raphael to teach Adam and Eve of these dangers, these hazards, they face with Satan. Raphael arrives on earth and eats a meal with Adam and Eve. Raphael relates the story of Satan's envy over the son's appointment as a God's second in command. Satan gathered other angels together. Of course, Satan would never stop that battle with God and as as you can see that Satan wants from the very beginning to corrupt that new creation of God, of course the humankind. So in order to continue to pursue his battle against God, he gathered he asked some other rebel angels who are now devils for a meeting other angels together who were also angry to hear this news and together they plotted a war they plotted a war against, against God 
Abdiel decides not to join Satan's war against God. And he, Abdiel decides not to join Satan's army and turns to God. The angels then begin to fight with Michael and Gabriel serving as so leaders, as co-leaders for heaven's army. The battle, these battles between uh, the devils and Gabriel and Avril, lasts two days when God sends the sun to end the war and deliver Satan and his evil angels to hell. Raphael tells Adam about Satan's evil motives to corrupt. So the, the, the motives of Satan was to corrupt them, of course, to corrupt Adam and Eve, and warns Adam to watch out for Satan, to be careful uh, from uh, Satan. Adam asks uh, Raphael to tell him the story of creation. Raphael tells Adam that God sent the sun into chaos to create the universe. He created the earth and stars and other planets. Curious Adam asks Raphael about the movement of the stars and of the planets. Okay. Eve retires, allowing Raphael and Adam to speak alone. Raphael promptly warns Adam about his seemingly unquenchable search for knowledge because Adam was asking all the time about things, about the plants, about the stars, about everything. So Raphael warns him not to be so curious and not to be all the time searching for knowledge. Why? Because if he is searching for knowledge all the time, definitely he will think of the tree of knowledge. Raphael tells Adam that he will learn all what he needs to know and that any other knowledge is not meant for humans to comprehend, which means that Raphael believes that humans should have limits for their knowledge. They shouldn't exceed these limits to know. So the other knowledge is uh, are not, this not, other knowledge is not meant to, is not meant for humans to understand and to comprehend. Adam tells Raphael about his first memories of waking up and wondering who he was, what he was, and where he was. Adam says that God spoke to him and told him many things, including his order not to eat from the tree of knowledge. Again, he remembers the order of God not to eat from the tree of knowledge. After the story, Adam confesses to Raphael his intense physical attraction to Eve. Raphael reminds Adam that he must love Eve more purely and spiritually. With his, this final bit of advice, Raphael leaves earth and returns to heaven. Eight days after his punishment, after leaving by force, earth, Satan returns to paradise. After closely studying the animals of paradise, he chooses to take the form of a serpent. So he chooses one of the animals to take the form, to disguise in the form of this. So he chose to take the form of the serpent. Meanwhile, Eve suggests to Adam that they work separately for a while so they can get more work done. And this is the mistake. She asked Adam, each one of them should do his work, her work to do to be done separately. Each one should uh, do uh, the work separately, 
because she believes that if they do this they can get more work done and of course this is the mistake that was done by Eve Adam is hesitant he didn't agree immediately but then a sense because he wants her not to be angry and so on as the habit of most men Satan searches the Eve searches for Eve and is delighted to find her alone so it was his chance at that time for the Satan to find Eve alone and of course he would here do his evil plan in the form of a serpent he talks to Eve and compliments her on her beauty and godliness of course this is the approach he uh, tried with Eve he compliments her on her beauty and godliness she's amazed to find an animal that can speak she asks how he learned to speak and he tells her that it was by eating from the tree of knowledge and of course this is his plan he told her that he is able to speak like this although is an animal that's a serpent but because he eats he learned she asks him how he learned to speak and he tells her that it was by eating from the tree of knowledge he tells Eve that God actually wants her Adam to eat from the tree and his order is merely a test of their courage. She is hesitant, Eve at the very beginning is hesitant at first, but then reaches for a fruit from the tree of knowledge. Of course, the big mistake Eve did. A fruit from the tree of knowledge and eats she becomes distraught and searches for Adam Adam has been busy making a wreath of flowers for Adam when Eve finds Adam he drops the wreath and is horrified to find that Eve has eaten from the forbidden from the forbidden tree knowing that she has fallen he decides that he would rather be fallen with her than remain pure and lose her so uh, Adam prefers to fall with her and not to remain pure and lose Eve and lose Eve so he eats from the fruit as well and looks at Eve in a new way and together they turn to lust God immediately knows of their disobedience he tells the angels in heaven that Adam and Eve must be punished so God once he knows about the disobedience of Eve and Adam he told the angels that both Adam and Eve must be punished but with a display of both justice and mercy he sends the son to give out the punishment the sun first punishes the serpent whose body Satan took and condemns it never to walk upright again so this was the punishment for 
the servant not to walk upright again, just to uh, walk uh, crawling. Then the son tells Adam and Eve that they must now suffer pain and death. So which means that they are going to be uh, suffering pain and death. Because before this, before eating from the tree of knowledge, they would never die. They would be immortal. Eve and all women must suffer the pain of childbirth and must submit to their husbands. Adam and all men must hunt and grow their own food on a depleted earth. Meanwhile, Satan returns to hell, where he is greeted with cheers. He speaks to the devils in pandemonium, and everyone believes that he has beaten God. Of course, they celebrated that, uh, in their opinions, this uh, victory. And sin and death traveled the bridge they built on their way to earth. Shortly thereafter, the devils unwillingly, the devils unwillingly against their will, transfers, transform into snakes. And they try to reach fruit from imaginary trees that travel and turn to dust as they reach them. Okay, so uh, uh, from by this uh, last slide that we uh, have already here, I read it uh, once more just to remind you of what I said, that sin and death traveled the bridge they built on their way to earth. Shortly thereafter, the devils unwillingly transform into snakes uh, and try to reach fruit from imaginary trees that travel and turn to dust as they reach uh, them. Okay, now this is the last uh, slide. Uh, I'd like to remind you that what we did in this lecture, we uh, got a very uh, uh, brief and simple overview about the plot overview of Paradise Lost. I'd like you please to read once more, read it thoroughly, and try to understand each line in it. Definitely you will have some questions about the plot this battle that happened between Satan and God, uh, how Satan convinced and persuaded Eve to eat from the tree of uh, knowledge, and what was the reaction, the response of Adam when he found that Eve eat from, uh, she uh, ate already from the tree of knowledge. All these events definitely will be, uh, of course, uh, uh, in my mind when I'm putting some of the questions to you for the final exam. Thank you very much. I wish you all the best. Inshallah, we still have two more lectures about uh, Milton's uh, Paradise Lost. All the best to uh, all of you and uh, uh, still uh, remind you again that Inshallah, uh, uh, when we finish the fourth lecture, uh, about uh, Paradise Lost, inshallah, I'll show you some samples of uh, the questions that you uh, have similar to them, inshallah, in the final exam. All the best to you. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.